guys, so today I'm filming an update for my Project Tin Pan Sample Edition, and I'm really excited because I was able to use up quite a few products, so I am going to start out by giving you mini reviews on the things I finished, and then I will show you a combination of the things I'm still working on, as well as the new items that I will be adding in, and you'll be happy to know that I will be adding in quite a few deluxe size samples this month, so I won't have as many things to update you on because I'll still be working on them, but I'm excited to start using some of my deluxe size samples again. Starting with hair products, I finished the Chlorine Dry Shampoo with Oat Milk and they have a couple different versions. In the past, I tried the one with Nettle for Oil Control. I thought that one was garbage. So I wasn't really expecting much from this. This one is absolutely amazing. It soaked up my oil better than anything else. I really love the light, pleasant scent. I've tried the Dry Bar Dry Shampoo, which I think works great, but for me, the smell is too overpowering and too much like perfume, but this was amazing. And I know these are expensive, but from time to time, Ulta does have deals on these. So even though I really love my Suave because it's so expensive, this works a lot better. So this is something that I would definitely contemplate repurchasing if I could get it on a really good sale because I was really impressed with how well it worked. Then I did finish both of the body products. I finally finished the Bliss Grapefruit and Aloe Body Butter Maximum Moisture Cream. I have the jumbo bottle as well as a little mini bottle. This is absolutely incredible. It is super, super nourishing, but it does sink into the skin really nicely. It doesn't feel greasy but it moisturizes well. And for me, it's hard to find something that does both of those things. I also really enjoy this scent. They have a couple of different scents in this line. And this one is my absolute favorite. I always see these at TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, places like that for really good prices. So I would recommend you guys pick this lotion up if you're interested. I think it performs super well. And then I also used up the little perfume sample of the Juicy Couture Viva La Juicy Rosé. And this is what the bottle looks like, which is so pretty. But what it says on this little card, is a bouquet of honey-like pink blossoms with fizzy citrus and sensual amber. And I can definitely note all of those scents in here. It smells really good, but it has a little bit of an undertone of like a powdery floral, which I don't love, but that part of the perfume isn't overpowering. So I would love to have another sample of this, but it's not something I would purchase. And I do prefer the original Viva La Juicy as well as the Viva La Juicy Noir. So I don't see myself purchasing this in the future, but it definitely wasn't bad. Then we do have all the skincare samples that I used up and I have been keeping little notes on these as I'm using them up so I won't forget. The first thing is the Ole Henriksen Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. This is a really lightweight gel consistency that just goes onto the skin really nicely. It glides on nice. This has a very minty scent, which I think really adds to feeling super fresh and clean. And my skin does feel very fresh, very clean afterwards, but it doesn't feel too stripped or too moisturized. So I was definitely impressed impressed with this. I didn't notice it doing anything for my skin except basic cleansing and feeling fresh and smelling fresh. So I don't think I would purchase it because it's so, so expensive, but I'd be happy to have another sample or a deluxe size sample because it was a good product. Then I have all of the moisturizers I use. This first one is the Ole Henriksen Counterbalance Oil Control Hydrator. It was a very thin consistency, blended onto the skin nicely, sunk in really well. I think this is a great daytime moisturizer for someone with oily skin. And this also smells like mint which I don't love in a moisturizer. I think that's great in a cleanser, but in a moisturizer, it's a little bit weird, but it's not something that I mind, but it definitely isn't a favorite aspect of this product. Another thing I noticed is that because this is a moisturizer for oily skin, those tend to be a bit more mattifying. And my Lancome La Base Primer I've been working on, whenever I put that primer over top of this moisturizer, it pillowed up on my skin and came off in little flakies, which I don't mind. I just brush them white off and then put my foundation on top. But it was something that I noticed, but that's true with a lot of mattifying moisturizers is that they do not mesh well with all primers. So those two didn't really work out well together. And I did like this, but again, I don't think that I would invest in the full size because I have other moisturizers I love that are cheaper but it is a good product. Then my next moisturizer sample is the Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer. This is also a great daytime moisturizer for oily skin. It gives the perfect amount of moisture, soaks into the skin really quickly and completely. 
And when I used the Lancome primer on top of this, it did not ball up. So I thought that was interesting. So even though these seem to do the same thing for my skin, this one, I was able to use this with more primers. With this one, I wasn't quite able to. So that's a nice thing to keep in mind. Again, I really enjoy this, but a little too pricey for a basic oily skin moisturizer. Then I finished two samples of the Sephora Instant Moisture Cream Hyaluronic Acid Booster. This was really nice. This I think would be a great nighttime moisturizer for oily skin because it did give a lot of moisture but it did eventually sink into the skin. If you have really dry skin this might not be hydrating enough for you but it's great for me. It also has a really nice light scent. I really enjoyed this and because it is Sephora brand it is most likely cheaper than other high-end brands. So this is something I might contemplate purchasing as a night cream because I was very, very happy with that one. And then I've got some random skincare things. This is the Ole Henriksen Truth Serum. This smelled like a creamsicle. It had a really nice thin consistency that I was able to glide onto my skin nicely, but it did leave my skin feeling a little bit tacky. No, I've never really used any kind of vitamin C product before. I liked it, but I don't know what this is supposed to do for your skin. And obviously because it was just a sample, I didn't get to use it long enough to see any kind of effects. It wasn't bad, but again, it's not something I would purchase. Then I tried the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil Light. This was still very oily, but it didn't feel very heavy and it did mostly sink into my skin. It had kind of a funny scent I didn't enjoy, but I realized that oils just are not my thing. So this is not something I purchased and I'm happy it's gone. And the last skincare product I use up is the Belief Hungarian Water Essence. And I was really afraid that this was going to be a really, really thin liquid. And I had been using it on a cotton ball and then applying it to my skin. But for the last couple uses, I was like, okay, let me try to use it in my hands. And it's actually a really thin gel. And even though it is very thin, it is able to be applied with the fingers. It did absorb really quickly and it did go onto my skin very easily. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to do for my skin. I don't think it was a bad product. I actually like the way that it felt, but it is something I would probably have to use quite a few more times to really see what kind of a result I'm supposed to have, if any. So those are all for the samples that I've used up. Now I'm gonna show you the things that I'm still working on as well as the new things in my project. So I have two items for hair. This is one that was in my last update. This is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. It is a hair primer. I've used this twice so far. It did make my hair a little bit silkier, have a nice scent to it, but I have a lot more products left in here. One of you gals left me amazing comment telling me how to use it and not to use too much. So I definitely took your advice on that. So this will probably last me a little while longer, especially because I don't often wash my hair in the morning. Then I also have the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. This is a very full foil packet sample. Even though this is a hair mask, I'm only going to apply it from my ears down. And I've used this before. I didn't love it, but I don't mind using up another sample. So those are my two hair products. Then everything else is skincare. No body products for this month. I am trying to finish up my Marc Jacobs Pear Eau de Toilette and I'm super close. And then after that, I'll add in some perfume samples to this project. So I have a cleanser. I still have this Ole Henriksen Pore Balance Facial Sauna Scrub from last month that I didn't use at all. So I would like to use this up. But once I finish that, I am going to add in the First Aid Beauty Skin Rescue Deep Cleanser with Red Clay that is supposed to remove excess oil, unclog pures, and purify. I think this is the oldest deluxe size cleanser in my collection, so I wanted to pull it. There's a lot in here, so this is gonna last me forever, but this is a product that, again, is supposed to be good for oily skin, so I'm excited to give that a shot. Then I still have the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. I took forever using the Belief. Also, with those skincare samples, it took me a while because I tried using them all together, and then every day I would take one out so I could see what each individual product was actually doing for my skin because if I used everything all together I wouldn't really be able to tell what was doing what so I did a little bit of experimenting here and there to really get a feel for the product so I did not get to use this one but I will hopefully finish it by my next update then I have a deluxe size sample of a serum I'm going to be using this morning and night this is the origins plant Scription anti-aging 
power serum and I have a whole bunch of serum samplers I was thinking of doing one for morning and one for night but I wasn't sure about the formulas what would be best so I figured We'll just do morning and night right now for this one. Then I do have two moisturizers, one for day and one for night. The daytime moisturizer is the Glam Glow Volcasmic Matte Glow Moisturizer, which sounds amazing for oily skin. And then at night, I always like something a bit more hydrating. So I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Extended Thirst Relief. I've used this before and it wasn't my favorite, but I'm not too picky about nighttime moisturizers. So I think that this one is a tiny sample, but the product looks, um, it looks solid. So <laughs> we'll see how long it takes me to use those up. I do have one more oil sample. I thought about tossing it, but I figured, you know what? Let me just try it. See what I think. This is the Nude Omega Treatment Rescue Oil. I had this in last month. So we'll see what I think about that. Then I do have one makeup removing product. This is the Too Faced Mascara Melt Off. I have two of these deluxe samples, so I would like to try this. This is supposed to be basically cleansing oil that you apply with like a mascara brush that's in here. So we'll see how well I like that. Then I have the Sephora Mud Mask Purifying and Mattifying. I did use this once yesterday, but there's still a decent amount of product left, so I want to try to use this up. But yesterday, I had all these little chunks that wouldn't blend out, and I know the Glam Glow has chunks that are like leaves, but this literally was just like chunks of product. So if you've used this before, let me know if it's supposed to be like that, but I figure I can at least try it one or two more times. Then I decided to add in another mask, which I know is crazy, but hold on. It's a sheet mask. You can only use it one time. So this is the BioBell hashtag I woke up like this face mask with wild rose and vitamin C. So I'm not really a sheet mask person, but I have it, so I will use it. And again, this will be easy to use because it's just one time. So guys, that was my update for my sample project pan. If you guys are doing one of these on your channel, let me know in the comments down below so I can check it out. I would love to know your thoughts if you've tried any of these products. As I said, I'm definitely not a skincare expert in any way, shape, or form. I really don't know what I'm doing with products. I just know what I like feels on my skin. And because I don't have sensitive skin, I'm not the most picky. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.